Well, it feels great. I mean, uh, I haven't done that in the past three Grand Slams this year, so uh, mentally it was very important for me to overcome today's uh, challenge and to be able to win the quarterfinals and, and to get to the semifinals first time in the Grand Slams in 2009. So now that I've done it, I, I feel kind of a relief and uh, I hope I just can continue playing well. And... Uh, and challenge eventually Feather if he gets to the semifinal. We saw him, uh, Andy Murray yesterday come up a little bit flat, didn't have much game to bring. And, and uh, were you concerned about that in your game today? You were struggling a little bit there in the second set particularly. Yeah, well, I, and I, I don't think we had a great first set. Uh, first set quality of the, of the match wasn't as best. I've made a lot of unforced errors. He's made a lot of, a lot of unforced errors. And, uh, I was lucky to get through uh, to in the tie break, and then second set, I I still wasn't able to find the the great uh, you know rhythm, especially on the forehand side, and and he used it. He he stepped it in. He played very aggressive, and uh, and and he deserved that second set. I managed to come back, and that's that's what it matters. You know, I just uh, tried to focus myself in the third set and 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 do work on some things, and I returned more balls in. He serves, uh, and, and I think serving well was as well the, one of the key elements in today's win. <coughs> when, he's, when, he, when he's playing, when he's on one of those hot streaks and playing at his highest level, what, do you, what is your philosophy? Do you just sit back and wait, or do you feel like you have to react to that and do something different? Um, the dangerous thing about Verdasco is to, to let him take over the control of the, of the match, and because he's physically very strong, and he's able to do a lot of things, especially from his forehand side, as we could see today. And, and he improved a lot his backhand, so he, he stays much much closer to the line. And he likes when the ball is coming a bit slower to him, so he can, uh, you know, do m more things with it. And uh, that's why I tried to mix up the pace, um, you know, play some high balls and then fast balls to his forehand and, and try to just get him out of that comfort zone that he got in in the second set. And, um, you know, I managed to do that. I understand that you've been hosting um, children of 9-11 victims in your box. Can you talk about that and what that means to how it got started? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, we had this idea before the tournament and uh, I didn't want to talk about it, obviously. I, I think it's, uh, well, it's, it's a gesture that I hope it means for them, and I've been meeting, uh, you know, four four different uh, uh, guys, uh, you know, in these two weeks, and um, I have been giving them some presents after the matches. And obviously, we don't want to talk about the past and what happened, and it's it's something that I have been going through as well, something similar in my past, you know, through the wars and all these things. So I uh, I know what it feels like. So I just try to bring some smiles and, and make them enjoy. And uh, I hope that's, that's what they did. Do they know who you are and what you've done on the court? Do they know you for your impressions or more for your tennis? Well, I, I haven't asked them that. <laughs> the, thing that the, the, uh, the, the main thing is that they enjoyed. I, I, I think that uh, the, 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 the guy I met today uh, was first time uh, watching live tennis match and it was quarterfinal of the US Open and and uh, certainly was a fantastic feeling for him and about the impressions I don't know if they have seen it but it's been going on on the internet <laughs> for a while but like when you say that you don't want to talk about it or you haven't wanted to talk about it obviously do you mean you don't you don't want to make it seem like it's a publicity thing that you want it to be genuine from the heart and not make it part of you know, about about what? Can well, you I think I think when you, when you responded to that question, you said, you know, I obviously haven't wanted to talk about it. Well, I just I, because this is something that that is is uh, negative to talk about, and I think it's 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 a sad story for, for, from their side and from my side. So I just I, I guess in this moment we have no reason to talk about sad things because you know we are here. We're trying to enjoy, we're young, they're young, they're trying to enjoy their life, and they came to tennis, so this is the positive message, and we don't want to, you know, get back in the past. What already happened, it happened, it's life. You seem much more, uh, maybe it's just from the outside, but you seem more relaxed in this tournament than you've been. Is there any reason? Or? 
I, I like playing here, you know, uh, starting from the surface, which is quite suitable to my game. The fans, the, you know, the atmosphere, the entertainment, the show, I like it, you know. And, I, uh, and the results that I have made in the past three years show how much uh, enjoyment I have playing here.